Cheryl, tonight the city of Chicago has not said if there are plans to open what they call a respite center in the former shuttered Hi South Shore High School have been finalized, but people who live in that neighborhood made it very clear how they feel. For city leaders who came looking for a conversation over opening the doors of a shuttered South Shore High School to migrants. What's important is that we really establish that this is a humanitarian crisis and we're here. South Shore residents responded with resounding rejection. While this crisis may constitute an emergency for the city of Chicago, it does not constitute an emergency for the South Shore community. Incoming migrants have overwhelmed district police stations by the hundreds. It's my turn. It's my turn. Hello. But city leaders could barely eke out a word of the details about a proposed respite center at the former South Shore High School. When it comes to the total number of people at South Shore at any given point in time, it is fluid. We'd start with 250, 500. How could you do that without consulting us? I am concerned with safety in the area. The Chicago Police Department will put 24-7, 24-7 officers oh. at that location. Those are exactly the kind of services Southside residents say they begged for and been denied. Every homeless immigrant that you bring in, that you scoop up one of the homeless individuals in our community, I think that would be fair. Tonight, we also learned that a field house in the city's North Suburban or North Avondale neighborhood will also close to the public temporarily because they plan to turn that into a respite center as well. Now, this surge of migrants into the city of Chicago comes on the heels of Brandon Johnson administration handover. And today we caught up with him at two separate events. He refused to answer questions about the migrants. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC 7 Chicago Eyewitness News.